dear students welcome to e paadasala now we will discuss the topic elements of landscape design first we will see the introduction garden gardens add the quality of life and gardening is an absorbing pursuit gardening is one of those creative activities that produces an enjoyable sensation of enjoyment in india we are fortunate to possess one of the richest flora on this earth and the tremendous range of bioclimatic regions which make it possible to grow flowers fruits and vegetables in variety of forms garden creates around you a world of romance and love and of art for creating beautiful garden landscaping plan an important role the element of the composition are the visual qualities that people see and respond to when viewing a space landscape is a blend of science and art vision and thought landscape design also known as landscape architecture is the arranging and modifying of features in a landscape urban area or garden landscape design can be incorporated into your parks and green spaces to gardens sports sites business sites and universities landscape design involves the planning designing and managing of open spaces spaces to create urban and rural environment then we will see the objectives of landscape design the main objectives of landscape design is, is that people who enjoy the beauty of nature and also take rest and relaxation the second objective is to create a beautiful landscape design then to maintain the sustainable ecosystem then to restore the native plants so landscape needs an expert to do landscaping on a big scale but whether small or big one color harmony and balance has been developed a successful landscape has been achieved so then we will see the benefits and uses of landscape design so the main benefits are landscape can help soften spaces between building then providing joints between areas then third one is providing pathway for people water and animals providing space for people to relax and enjoy the nature help to improve the quality of environment so a well designed and maintained landscape can attract people and have a positive impact on property value and personal well being then we will see the main elements so the elements of landscape designing is divided into two phases the one is a construction phase and the second one is hot space the construction phase contains topiary fountain edging patios ponds arches rock garden pergolas trophy then the second hot space includes drives paths steps and slopes fencing walls construction space including the first one is topiary topiary is art of shaping of heads in ornamental forms and figures topiary is a plant which is trimmed and clipped into ornamental shapes such as cone or bird or animal or sometimes human figure syrups with bushy habits are suitable for topiary works casuarina cubrasses and bougainvillea are the important plants to form the topiary work then continuous pruning is required for topiary the plants selected should be capable of being molded to such shapes then next construction space includes fountain so fountains are usually connected to springs and aqueducts until the 19th century most fountains operated by gravity and needed a source of water higher than that of the fountain by the end of the 19th century as indoor plumbing became the main source of drinking water urban fountain became purely decorative mechanical pumps are used instead of gravity and allowed fountains to recycle water and to force it higher into the air king fadas fountain in jadak saudi arabia the world cup fountain in the hong kong river in seoul the gateway geyser at mosori the port fountain in karachi the dubai fountain are the tallest fountain in the world main purpose of fountain in olden days was to provide water for drinking bathing and washing in addition to provide drinking water nowadays it is used for decoration fountain is constructed with rock garden and small irregular pool with attractive water plants will give additional beauty the various type of fountains are splash pad musical and drinking fountain even marble fountain can be purchased in order to bring out the natural appeal of your pond or garden areas 
then third one is edging so the edging is also the important construction phase so plant edging are no longer popular as they are difficult to maintain a row of bushes planted together along the sides of food path is known as edge landscape edging is the permanent one usually divides the area from the food path alternator with its bicolor leaves make very attractive and neat edging it is also effectively used for lettering or carpet bedding dwarf plants are suitable for edging example eupatorium lambico etc clean and crisp lines between the beds are created by edging the materials used for landscape edging are lawn and garden divider moving strip mulch capture beauty edge clearly contrast color with surrounding foliage and flowers are suitable for edging for more formal bits and edging use uniform materials brick plastic concrete wood stone and wattle are also used for edging material brick elegant and long lasting brick comes in different of styles and creates uniform look plastic affordable and easy to install due to its flexibility plastic edging comes in many grades it is less expensive concrete concrete edging are ready to be set in place can make a simple form and create a custom edge wood affordable and easy to work with straight lines wood adds an informal organic look stone one of the more versatile edging material stone can be carefully set in mortar for refined look or placed more casually for a relaxed appearance wattle this edging uses a technique that involves weaving saplings of pliable wood such as willow or dark wood into a low fence wattle works will for holding back mulch uses of landscape edging edging creates clear and definite lines between beds and other areas landscape edging can define a flower border a shrub bed fountain ponds lawn pathways and so on it helps the turf grass from spreading until root system is formed edging can facilitate garden traffic clearly it prevents spilling of soil or mulch from the garden to lawn flower bed carpet bed and other areas then fourth one is patios it is a outdoor space generally used for dining or recreation that adjoins the residence and is typically paved concrete or stone slabs are mainly used for construction bricks block paving tiles or cobbles are also used front and back patios are favorite spots to relax in the warmer months planting attractive plants around the patios will create peaceful environment to the viewers then ponds ponds can be very personal and charming in india it is one of an ancient art pond is small body of still water formed naturally or by artificial means ponds with attractive aquatic plants create a beautiful effect in landscape moss plants and moisture loving plants are grown in and around the ponds ponds provide for cultivation of water plants moss plants and moisture loving plants water lilies are colorful and some of them are fragrant also the right depth for the water lilies is essential those which grow at shallow depth are more delicate some of the popular water lilies are nymphaeas nymphaea lotus nymphaea pupens nymphaea rubra lotus known as water bean is a beautiful flower and is also popular because of its use for religious functions lily pond is the best example in this pond lily or lotus are planted the shapes may be rectangular square round oval hexagonal or kidney shaped marble can also be used to create signs around or in garden ponds ceratropylum elodia reed mass plants for formal ponds potted plants like balsam phylax table rose jinma may be kept in rows around the ponds to attract viewers The moss plants may include arum lily cypress and sudden iris perennials are creating beautiful effect around the ponds Moisture loving plants in well trained positions may be alocasia nimone colocasia red cord parker planted in and around the ponds Ornamental grasses and bamboos also look pretty by the water side Then we will discuss about the arches The curved structure that form a gateway for the garden is known as arch. 
Arts were used in formal gardens for centuries. Arts creates a romantic link between two areas in the garden. Garden arches acted as centerpiece in landscaping. Arches are constructed by PVC, plastic, steel, timber, vinyl, cedar wood, wrought iron and aluminium. Climbing roses, vines, flowering plants that you have climbing in nature are planted in arches. Arches provide welcoming invite and add charming effect. The arches are mainly constructed in the places of entrance, pergolas, pathways, pool areas, etc. Then next is rock garden. A rock garden means an arrangement of rocks with plants growing in the crevices. It brings a feel of hills and a refreshing features. Gardens established in areas where the soil is few millimeters in thickness and rock is exposed at many places are rock gardens. Other name of rock garden is rockery or alpine garden. Alpine means the plant which grow in rocky position at high altitudes. Rocks, stones and boulders are the main characteristic features of rock garden. The stones help the plants in retaining their moisture and keeping their roots cool. They also protect them from heavy rains, frost and wind and provide good drainage. Large open space or under the shade of trees is suitable for rock garden. Irregular sizes for large stones are dumped with the required peaks and slopes on all sides. Then the gap between rocks are filled with cultivated soil. Different varieties of attractive plants are grown in the soil. Shrubs, herbaceous plants, creepers, ferns, cacti and succulents are some of the plants suitable for rockery garden. Construction of fountain at one peak and the shallow pool with beautiful water loving plants may include additional beauty to the rock garden. Japanese rock garden also known as Gen garden have the special features like moss, prune trees, bushes, water pool and very few plants. Then current maintenance of raw garden. Thinning is done periodically. Weeding is done by manually. Manuring and fertilizing must be added regularly. This proper watering system should be followed. Diseased leaves should be removed immediately. Frequently removed dead leaves and shoots. Then we will discuss about percolas. Percola is one of the important garden feature forming a shaded walkway and passageway. It also forms sitting area of vertical posts or pillars that usually support cross beams and sturdy open lattice. Percola protect open terrace. Percola that not attached to the home or other structure is called as freestanding percolas. These percolas are mainly used as sitting areas. It comprised of many pillars and a roof of climber. Pillars are placed in both sides of the walkways. Curved steel rods are fitted above the pillars. Attractive climbers and creepers are planted and allowed to grow over the roof. Parkola gives basic structure for climbing the plants. Adamanda catheritrica, Antigona laptopus, Bohanvilla, Jasmine, Passiflora are some of the beautiful flowering plants grown on the parkola. Now we will discuss about the trophy. Arrangement of potted plants in the garden is known as trophy. Usually attractive foliage and flowers are placed around the trees or the large object or statue. Trophy emphasizes the particular object or statue in beautiful way. Potted plants were arranged in different tire around the statue. Flowering annuals and herbaceous perennials are suitable for trophy arrangements. So the second phase of landscape element is construction of hard areas. Hard areas are also referred to as hardscape. Hard landscape or hardscape consists of in inanimate elements of landscaping. There are hard and unchanging, although they may be movable or adaptable to the environment. Hard landscape is non-living element of landscaping. There are dull, tough, hard and unchanging. There are some impact on soft landscape. In general, hard landscaping is the construction of physically hard material to make architectural features in the garden area such as paths, walks, fences, pergolas, patios, decking, water features, walls, outdoor rooms, gazebos and so on. The most important elements involved in the hard areas are drives, paths, steps and slope, fencing walls. Garden path, drives, steps and slopes beside being functional in providing suitable surface to walk upon can be a piece of beauty and an architectural features in itself. 
they should be point to another direct and few bold graceful and gently sloping curves materials available lovely may be used without sacrificing originality whatever be the material size and design the path should walk upon and should not get slippery particularly in the rainy season first we will discuss about the drives drives or roads are an important part of the garden which protect garden plants from food steps drives should have link from one part to another part brick gravel rock or stone concrete timber bitumen glass metal are used for constructing drives sometimes in the inter spaces can be planted with grouped spreads then we will see about paths a garden path besides being functional in providing suitable surface to walk upon can be piece of beauty and an architectural features in itself path defines the passage in the landscape created paths may be paved or unpaved paving materials are used to reduce the demerits of mud and dust paths facilitate easy circulation Various design pattern of pathing material are used to create beautiful and charming effect of the garden. Paving materials could be natural or man-made. Man-made paving materials are available in various colors and textures. Stone, brick, marble, concrete, stacked stones are also used as paving materials. Decorative stones are used in pathways or trails to beauty the garden informal gardens irregular shaped flat stones or tiles are used for paving this is called as grassy path the types of paths are brick paths bricks are arranged in the walls have the formal effect they have look attractive in an informal setting also but better would be broken bricks joined together in irregular shapes this will be cheaper too stone paths Stone are available in many natural hues in regular as well as irregular shapes and created delightful effects and there are embedded in the soil or earth zones can be substituted by mortar rubbles in irregular shapes coal paving in areas where coal is available in plenty coal paving can be unusually attractive and functionally effective gravel path smaller boulders topped with red gravel beaten foam can also make an attractive garden path Perennial grasses may be grown in between the stones to increase the beauty of the formal garden. Then we will see about the steps and slope. Steps and slopes in the landscape garden have the practical function of allowing easier access over sloping ground. Steps and slopes facilitate vertical circulation. Steps have ornamental function of the garden. Placement of one or two steps can lend great character to garden. The material used for steps should match the location. Landsliding should be taken into consideration while creating slopes. For safety point of view, the step tread will be 30 cm and rises will be 10 cm. Steps allows construct my non-slippery material. Nowadays, flat stones is used for consuming steps. Bebbles are also used for sidewalks, fencing walls. To protect some important element in landscape, The landscape architects construct walls and fences around the plants. The type of fencing used are wrought union fence, vinyl privacy fences. A stacked stone retained wall can perform both decorative and protective effect. Bamboo fencing is renewable source and create a natural look. Stone in landscaping is an important hard element that evokes strength and security. Stones are mainly used to remind walls. Retaining wall is constructed around a small pond or even a garden. Black stone is very popular choice used for simple ornamental design. Boulders are also used for creating decorative effect of the garden. The important black stones are Bridgewood, Wisconsin, Granite and Honeycomb Western Stone. Functions of the hard landscape. Create link between buildings, enclose space, create a theme, define private area. serves the vehicular movement facilitate easy movement of disabilities visually link a development with its surroundings choosing a hard landscape materials materials selected for constructing hard areas not only for their appearance but also for their ability to withstand the use to which they are being put materials should be durable easy maintenance good quality and durable then finally conclusion 
landscape is a place where ornamental pla plants are grown mainly for people to enjoy and relax different pla plants in the garden are grown in an ordered manner to attract the people so landscape design involves the arrangement of wide range of elements these elements are used to create a beautiful landscape design it provides the recreation of people and improve the environmental quality landscape being neat skill and an aesthetic sense of creativity creativity careful planning is therefore essential for developing and maintaining a beautiful garden for creating landscape design great professional skills and strategic planning is are important phenomena